Hello there and welcome to another AKCP tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at virtual sensors once again. Uh, this time we're going to be having a look at the SNMP GET uh, within the virtual uh, sensor interface. Now this basically allows you to monitor any SNMP compliant device. Uh, in this example we're going to be using a virtual sensor to monitor a temperature sensor connected to another AKCP device in the local area network. Now if you're not familiar uh, with the use of OIDs uh, refer to the OID manual on the product CD. Uh, so let's go right ahead and jump in. Uh, we're going to select a port. Uh, we're going to go to Virtual Sensor Port 3. And once again we're going to click the Configuration button and we're going to choose SNMP GET and then click Next. Okay, so uh, we will actually change the sensor name here uh, to um, Let's change this to sensor on and then we'll put the uh, IP 10.1.5.11 and then below that we have our host uh, again this is our uh, IP address of that unit uh, so that's 10.1.5.11 and then we have our uh, SNMP community um, now this is actually set to uh, the word public uh, by default but it's actually the same as your administrator password on your SP2 uh, so in this example uh, the password for me would be Nick my census uh, next we come to the OID uh, now the OID for your particular sensor can be found in your OID manual so I'll go ahead and paste that in there now you'll notice uh, at the end here we have an X now the X is for the port number uh, that your um, sensor is attached to. Uh, on, in this example mine is on port 1. However, uh, with the OID port 1 would actually show up as port 0, port 2 would show as port 1 and so on and so forth. So I'll go ahead and change that to 0 and also make sure that at the beginning of your OID you have a dot. Um, sensor style, we're going to switch that to analog as it's an analog sensor. We don't want to times the value, so we're going to leave that as it is. Uh, and we're going to change this one here from unit text to degrees. And we want that as C. OK. And then we have our value range for the notification threshold slide bar from 0 to 100 degrees. Uh, I'm happy with that, so we'll click Next. OK, and now we've got our uh, notification slide bar, something very similar to what you would see um, on your sensor settings. You can play around uh, with the values by moving these blue arrows left to right or inputting the, inputting the value into the boxes below. And we'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, and once again, we now have our uh, polling interval, uh, which is how many times this will ping. Uh, so we'll change that to something a little bit lower. Uh, we'll have five seconds. We have the uh, execute uh, timeout and the retry there uh, once again. Uh, that's exactly the same as it was uh, before. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click finish. I'm going to wait for the uh, screen to load up. Sometimes this does take some time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we have our sensor name, 10.1.5.11. Uh, at the moment, it's in a low warning. So what we'll do is we'll just adjust our uh, notification thresholds here just to bring it into a normal status. Uh, it's currently online. Uh, we also have our normal mode slash uh, advanced mode uh, button. Again, the advanced mode uh, options are exactly the same as what you would find uh, in your sensor settings. So for more information on those, uh, refer to the manual or have a look at a previous tutorial on sensors. Uh, we have the Rion value, uh, we have our graphing uh, options there. We also have the sensors URL. Again, rather than actually uh, inputting a uh, website, that would actually be the URL of this sensor. So it'd be HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash 10.1.5.11. And that would actually then take you to the uh, interface uh, of that particular probe. 
Uh, below we have the continuous time for the sensor to be in a new status before accepting the new status. Exactly the same as you would find on all the other sensor settings. Uh, and you can input the values in here uh, and alter them as you wish. And then finally at the bottom again we have our uh, calendar options where once again you can actually choose the hours in the day and the days in the week in which you would like the sensor to be uh, to report or not report and you can simply click in these boxes and choose uh, which ones you prefer and then we'll go ahead and click save okay so now you can see that it's uh, in green it's in normal and we've just uh, set up a nice SNMP get there uh, so thanks for watching